Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 76, so let's play Final Fantasy VI Advance. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, I'm gonna have Terra step on this switch over here. Rather than have her go north, I've scouted and it didn't really take me anywhere good. In fact, it takes me to a dead end at this point that I'll probably have to get through later. So instead, we're gonna go this way. Because we can. And it's for the children. That I don't care about. Nah, just kidding. Okay, this here is the Grand Cavern. Alright, let's go take a look. See what we gotta deal with. Okay, I see bridges. And I gotta get to the other side of that, apparently. Okay, I think now would be a good time to use a tent. It's always a time for a tent. Actually, there is one thing I forgot to do. I might want to do that now. Oh no, not with Cyan. Well, yeah, with Cyan and everyone else, too. I'm gonna put the Save the Queen on Celeste. A renowned general. So look at that attack going way up. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, let's put the Thunder Shield on you. The Aegis Shield on you. And Thunder Shield on you. Okay, we don't need any Tortoise Shields for now. We're good. Okay, is there anything else I need to deal with before I go on? Our Cyan and Setzer are very close to leveling up. Put Bahamut on you. I'm gonna put Raiden on you. And of course, Celeste gets Valagarmanda, as per usual. And Mog, you get Gilgamesh. Kind to think of it, I think I'm gonna put Celeste in the front row to make use of that Save the Queen. Oh yeah, I gotta check the relics too. It's gonna change. Prayer beads, I don't need at this point, so I'll put on a ribbon. Gigas glove, I'll put on a black belt. Master scroll, I'll go with a white cape. And Mog, you're good enough as is. Okay, what's over this way? Okay, this looks like the same area that uh, Terra would end up. Just on the other side. Huh, let's see. What does this button do? Okay, obviously it's a stone. I suppose now Terra will be able to pass. Yeah, but I'll save that for later. No, one second thought, I'll just go now. If I'm gonna boost something on Edgar, I might as well, like, do something. Uh, let's see, what would be good for him? Eh, yeah, some extra MP may not hurt. Now we can be able to go this way. Who was he? Treasure! Up in the corner. Ah, Force Armor! Nice to get another one of those. Oh, great, some traditional enemies from Kefka's Tower. Nothing new there. Might as well just stop them all. I think so would be a good idea. I think. Ah, just like old times. Only we don't have a big heap of garbage around us in the background. Maybe some more MP though. Terra, why don't you finish him off with an Ultima? Should be enough. If not, then Edgar will just land on the rest. Up, oh, that's more than plenty. Haymaker? Huh, I thought you were stopped. And yeah, now you're getting a level. Nice job. I'll explore the rest later. But Terra is able to get through and don't need Celeste's help anymore. 
therefore I can let Celeste and company continue looking around this area themselves. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna do anything with that yet. Instead, I'll go this way. Locked by the Seal of Darkness. I believe that's Skull Dragon. Okay, if you go back to that uh, tomb that's blocked by the Red Dragon, or the Seal of Fire, a gravestone will tell you that you have to look within the inner eye, like the molten part, molten pool of an inner eye, to find the Seal of Heaven, or the Holy Dragon. Press this little switch and something should happen. It doesn't tell you where the distant sound came from, but it allows us to go to Holy Dragon. So we'll deal with that later. Instead, let's just focus on... Let's see, I'm going to ignore that anvil, like I said before. And come back to it later. Actually, I was supposed to go the other way. That's one thing I hate about the Dragon's Den, is you have to, like, plan so many moves in advance. Another X-Potion. And then it gets very annoying. Especially if you already broke through some of the seals and feel you have to sequence break, therefore you're gonna get lost. Okay, I guess I was supposed to like knock down that anvil. But I'll deal with that later. There's still time to go handle all this. Instead, I'm gonna head back to the Grand Cavern and see what I can do. Okay, that's the save point. I'm supposed to go this way, of course. This way seems very important, but I'll ignore that for now. So I'll go this way! Uh, what's this? Okay, that's where that turtle just came from. So if that turtle was in the middle, I can end up over here. Oh, that's not gonna help us. Can't get that way. So I guess we'll have to go over here. Aww, and these douchebags are back. From the friggin' Zone Eaters dungeon. You gotta deal with them again. Okay, can you, can you not obstruct me? Thank you. Okay, good. No! Oh, what the hell? That did not touch me! That was not even close. Oh, we never even made it past the first ass wipe. That's just peachy. Okay, so now where we're in is called the Cloister of Trials. What this means is if you fall down here, you have to face a maximum of five bosses. And a minimum of three. First one is the Earth Eater. And this guy's a pain because he hurts a lot. Can't stop him, him immediately. Otherwise, you are just going to get killed. Okay, Kiraga Pronto. Mag Valor Pronto. No, Hastiga Pronto. Yeah, if you don't have this guy stopped, he will counter pretty much any one of your attacks with Megaton Punch. That's an instant kill move. Nobody likes instant kill moves. Trust me on this one. The only one that likes them are the ones casting them to begin with. If you're a target, well, not so much. Okay, sign mind you, Valor. Uh, I was hoping for a little bit more out of that. Why don't you try ultimate yourself? Essentially, you're gonna have to be using a lot of your best moves at this point. And you know what the sad part is? Even if you beat these bosses, and then get knocked down again, you have to face these bosses again! They come back! That's the worst part. You can probably be fighting these guys like five or six, maybe even ten times if you're unlucky. 
Let's hope it never gets to that point. If it does, God help ya. That is why I'm doing this with Celeste's team because of the Malulu's charm. Imagine I didn't deal with all that and the random enemy encounters. Okay, so Earth Eater has been defeated. That's good. You actually gain experience fighting these guys, too. It would have been good if it wasn't just 1,250. That is just empty right there. Fighting a boss like that and only getting 1,250 experience? That's a slap in the face. That's practically a middle finger not even Celeste could provide. Alright, let's try this boss. The Marlboro Menace. If you beat this guy with physical attacks, it will split up into many different Marlboro Menaces and can become a problem. However, if you use Banish, or say Raiden Shin Zantetsuken, well, battle's done. That's it. You won. And it dropped a potion, of all things. I might as well show off each boss at least once. And hopefully I'll never have to show you again. Okay, Gargantua. Okay, the thing to deal with this boss is put him to sleep. And then just use your magic. Hope for the best. Evil Eye. Oh, that just casts slow. Hopefully this guy never wakes up. Ever. So just use your best spells and hope for the best. He also has Quake, but it's not that strong. You don't have to worry about Quake, it does very little damage. The only things you gotta worry about are the physicals. The good thing about Ultima, or any kind of magic, is that they never wake up. Okay, Setzer, this might be risky, but go for it. Use your Master Scroll and get some lucky rolls. Not bad. That's good. Really good! Eh, close enough. Just enough to beat him. That's what we could hope for. And if you're actually lucky, he'll drop a growth egg. We all know what growth eggs do, even though I never used them even once in this LP. The double your experience for whoever carries them. That's your game of level, and so it's Cyan. Oh, ho, ho, we got one too. Oh, how about luck? Okay, let's continue. Okay, two more bosses to take on. Let's start with this one. The Dark Behemoth. Be careful with this guy, because he's got Ultima. But he can also fall to Banish, too. Just remember, it starts off with Mighty Guard. And, of course, a Heave attack. Done! Simple as that. It's just too bad not all of the bosses can fall to Banish here. Just this one and Marlboro Menace. Okay, the last one, the Abyss Worm. This one's a little tougher. Like, it doesn't kill you off so easily. It's just that you don't really have a lot of things to take advantage of. It practically has little to no weakness. Therefore, you just have to go with your best offense. Eh, you could do better, Setzer. Shockwave shouldn't be too bad. See? 
Like, its attacks aren't that strong. You just pretty much have to use stronger moves than you would need to compared to other bosses. But it should fall like the rest. If you got the right spells and the right attacks. It's not rocket science, it's beating the crap out of a worm. A red one at that, too. The only thing I hate is that it has multiple moves in a single turn. That's the one thing that can get you. Like, look at that! It's got using like a third move. Nobody needs that many moves in a single turn. It's just not necessary. Another shockwave. Your sensor should be able to deal enough damage to beat it. Probably just in that first roll. Did I roll the same thing twice? I think I did. Who triples! They always yield good results. Here, now the Abyss Worm is down. So that's all five bosses you can face in the Cloister of Trials. It's just too bad they're not gone for good. If only they were. And Celeste gained a level. Good. Okay, hey, so once you're done, all you have to do is just get to the end of the room. Welcome to the light, my blonde! There, that's all! And this is where you end up, right over here. To have to do this all over again. And then, we hope for the best. Huh. <sighs> We meet again, douchebag! It's just too bad they don't give you a lot of room to work with. So I'm gonna stop the video here, and in the next part, we'll take this to chance. See ya.